Welcome to Do 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 Do. We live tonight. Oh yes, here in the house of King Gabe. And uh, well, I guess if it was tonight, why is it daytime? You ask. Well, basically because uh, usually they're asleep at night because of their work schedule and everything. But hey, it still can be called that. Do do do. And you're probably also wondering why I am a squirrel instead of a duck. But apparently that's because my voice is often used to voice Dashdale here, as you see. So I figured I'd probably just, you know, use them in place of myself. Anyway, that's not important, so let's move on to our special guest for do 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 it tonight. And give a big round of applause for Turbo Man. Yeah! It's Turbo time, or maybe I should probably say it more like t -t 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 turbo time. Uh, d -d 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 <laughs> so as you can see, this is the Turbo Man figure that was used in the movie Jingle All the Way. I'm kind of surprised that they made this figure. I mean, I'm some of you are probably shocked as well, and probably didn't think you'd ever see a review on something like this. I mean, I know we've had reviews on the movie Jingle All The Way from, you know, like Nostalgia Critic and Double Toasted and probably other uh, people that may have possibly viewed that we don't even know. But yeah, this is actually kind of surprising there. But hey, I'm not disappointed or anything. It's actually pretty cool to look at this guy, you know? Especially seeing as how Arnold Schwarzenegger had to dress up like him in the end of the movie, which was actually kind of the highlight for the movie. Whether you love it or hate it, you gotta admit that was pretty hilarious. <laughs> so, uh, let's take a look at the guy, Turbo Man. As you can see, uh, looks pretty much just like the way he's presented in the show. A very good representation of 90s toys, by the way. Uh, the box says that he's really extremely posable. But as you know, with a 90s toy, especially one made like this, with a chorus electronics, just like in the movie, yeah, there is some, uh, there's only so many movements that he can make, but for what he's given, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, he can move his arm all the way around. That's a pretty good feat there, and even bend it just a little bit, mostly because of how his, um, well, mostly because of how he's made at the front there, but hey, that's, but that's no problem. And he can even turn his head, um, uh, from side to side. <laughs> Really nice. And let's raise him up. He can bring his leg out to do a kick. Or you can have both legs out and just have him sit there chilling. Uh, kind of. Yeah, yeah kind of chilling. Yeah, okay, not quite perfect, but okay, we'll take it. And matter of fact, you can have him take a knee like they said in After Earth. Not exactly Will Smith's best movie. No offense, I... All fans were big Will Smith fans, but that movie was just not him. Just being honest. So, yeah, he can take, so he can kick, take a knee. Uh, you can't really turn him at the waist, mostly because of the electronics, which we're about to show you in a second, which are also cool and totally worth it. So, now he's got this little um, thing in the back. Um, I actually meant to not have this attached at the beginning of the of the review but hey we can do it yeah it can come off although it's probably best that it stays in so that probably was a better idea when you think about it because he revealed the compartment where his batteries go and he takes two double-a batteries uh for for the electronics to work and everything which is just like the 90s so convenient you know double-a that's easy to get even triple A, um, although technically, to be honest, the double A is actually easier than the triple A. The, the triple A's are, as they are not that hard either, but you just get more of the double, the double A's are just so much more convenient there. And you see the little peg in there. There's a little thing inside that little inside there where this attaches. As you can see, the little uh, port, uh, it's sort of like an electronic port. That's how the electronics in this thing works because if he's not if it's not plugged into him, it doesn't do anything except just expand the wing pad. But you don't get the lights until you hook him up to Turbo Man. So let's take a look at those electronics. Oh wait, there's a few other things to show. 
We got the turbo rain, which fit right inside here, really snug and everything. You take that out, and just like in the Jingle All The Way movie, you can bring it out like so. Um, I think he kind of can hold it. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he can hold it pretty well. Um, don't try throwing it with... Don't try to have him throw it or anything, but it does look really cool in his hand. You can pretend that he's about that he's going to throw it. Sort of maybe if you wanted to do like a stop motion film, um, that probably would work. Or like what I've seen with Beast Wars stop motion, definitely check those out on both YouTube and Facebook. <laughs> so um, yeah, he can hold a turbo ring. Let's put that back in the holster and so we can show off some of the, uh, one more thing that he's got before the electronics. Um, he's got, the turbo disc launcher. And as you can see, I've already put one of the turbo discs in. See, that's how it looks about it. You stick it in like that. And he also uh, has three extra turbo discs. You know, just in case maybe you lose one or two. Oh, please try not to lose them there. It really, it'll really offset the, you know, the greatness of the toy. And also the nostalgic value, especially if you're one that enjoyed the movie Jingle all the way. Or, or maybe, you know, whether it was a guilty pleasure or maybe just the fact that you legitimately liked it and don't feel guilty about enjoying it. Let's be, although let's be honest, the fact that we had someone like Turbo Man in the movie actually makes that, actually is what really sells that movie. And also the thing about with the Black Friday thing, yeah, it, yeah, that really got a hand there. But other than that, the movie was a classic. So let's, um, you put it right, let's see, I think you put it like right here, kind of. Cause you can't really, cause you can't really like turn his arm. So yeah, you have to, oh, that's right. You gotta get it, gotta get it attached. Um, so you just kinda gotta force it on there a little bit, um, a certain kind of way. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Now, now be warned, this is probably not going to stay. I mean, it'll stay on for a while, but uh, you got to be careful when you're playing with it because sometimes it'll just pop off unexpectedly. So make sure you're careful. That way you don't lose the disc launcher when you're playing with it, especially the kids. So what you're going to do while it's attached and uh, make sure you keep it attached at least long enough to fire the disc is press the little button. Oh, see, see what I'm talking about there? <laughs> okay. All right, let's try it again. Press the button, get some distance. And voila, you just fired a turbo disc. And he actually did that in the movie, the TV show that, that the little boy was watching. He literally fired this at the bad guy, which I gotta say, it just, you might say it's cheesy, but it actually kind of was cool there. Um... I think the critics said that it represented Power Rangers or something, and he kind of insulted it a little bit. But <laughs> trust me, I I actually that actually would be kind of cool to have something, someone like Turbo Man with the Power Rangers. I mean, considering how the Power Rangers work and everything, and also you know some of the other stuff that was produced by the company that that dubbed them, like you know Beetleborgs and uh, what else was it, Mass Rider and Mystic Knights of Teen and all. Oh, right, those were some staple classic shows. It definitely felt good to be the 90s kid. So, uh, don't mean to get too far off topic there. Let's uh, go on to these electronics. So, uh, as for the jetpack, we'll show that first since I mentioned that earlier. Since it's attached to them, you just push this button here. And voila, you got the turbo launcher. And that's what made Arnold Schwarzenegger fly all over the town. It's turbo time! <laughs> and we also got a pretty hilarious song. I, I have to admit, the Nostalgia Critic did make a hilarious song that we don't care type of thing. I know he was making fun of the movie and everything, but, it, but even I found that kind of funny with him just goofing around as they showed the scenes of Arnold flying around because, I mean, it was hilarious in the movie as well. That, and that's what, and I really had fun with that there. <laughs> Matter of fact, it was the review that actually made me get the movie too. So, um, yeah, when you fold them back in, they turn off automatically. Uh, if you leave them out like that, um, I actually tested this earlier. 
they the thrusters uh will stay lit up and sounding i think for at least anywhere between three to five minutes at least and then they'll just automatically turn off there but i would suggest that you know you only you only have it active when you're playing with it uh that way you don't wear your battery out and you can get and that way you know you use it when you're playing with it so <clears throat> excuse me there uh so now we got some other features that he has like the fact that he can talk of course just sort of similar to oops <laughs> i bumped the camera there sort of similar to buzz lightyear in toy story you know he's like buzz lightyear to the rescue <laughs> so uh let's uh let's hear some phrases turbo man you can always count on me and we can yeah, we definitely can. And they can also count on da 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 do It's turbo time. It's turbo time. Beware of evildoers. It's turbo time. He really likes to say it's turbo time quite a bit there. But this, yeah, there's a few phrases, but he really likes the it's turbo time. I guess the figure might be kind of sentient, and maybe that's this. Maybe that's the figure's favorite phrase. <laughs> hey, it could be possible. I mean, after all, Gabe's writing a comic, uh, Yumiko, that involves talking plush toys, and he had talking plush toys on his old YouTube channel, so why not? <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, let's hit that button one more time. You can always count on me. Good work, Booster. Yes! He finally said, he actually said, I had a hard time getting him to say that line. When I first opened up the package, the line of him saying, uh, good job, Booster, um, he only said that once after I opened him up. And I tried to show that to some, to some other people, and he would never say that again. For some reason, he was stuck on Turbo Time and the other phrases. I am so glad he actually said that for this video. Thank you, Turbo Man. Indeed I can. So, now that you've heard his cool phrases, let's take a look at one other feature he's got. We'll have to come down a bit, because when you flip this switch right here, his legs light up. And that's actually pretty, and that's actually pretty cool. Okay, take the light up legs with the thrusters and you got a, the full effect. That's actually pretty cool. I am not gonna lie. <laughs> Throw in the disc launcher and the turbo ring and you got it made with Turbo Man. <laughs> so yeah, this, so that's the Turbo Man review there. Um, oh, let me turn that off there. <laughs> there we go. So, um, this actually is a pretty good figure. Um, I will, I, I, have, I will warn you, he's a, a little costy to get, but um, if you're looking for nostalgia of the 90s, uh, definitely pick them up for your collection if the, um, if you're looking for this kind of thing. Especially if you like the movie Jingle All The Way. Uh, where I found Turbo Man was actually at Walmart of all places. A local Walmart. I didn't even order this online. This was actually just sitting in the Walmart toy aisle. I had no idea they had that. And boom, there it was. I was like, oh, I so gotta get this just... <laughs> just for the nostalgic value because I'm like this is a rare find so yeah he, so definitely pick so definitely pick this up for your 90s collection or Jingle All The Way fans or even Arnold Schwarzenegger fans because he because he definitely dressed up like this <laughs> yep so pick up your Turbo Man and say it's Turbo Time with do 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 it tonight and that's it for and that's it for tonight even though it's daytime i'm still gonna say tonight <laughs>